Hi, today we will see about the stability analysis, how stability analysis is carried out in model prediction control. Now these are the um, things that we will be seeing in this lecture. We will see the closed loop properties of model prediction control, uh, how the stability analysis is carried out in model prediction control and how in MPC the disturbance is handled. So how to improve the robustness of uh, model prediction control and the robust constraint satisfaction techniques and then some we will summarize what we have learned in this lecture. So now uh, we will begin with the effect of constraints and the initial points on model predictive control. So suppose we are starting at the initial point 0. 0.5 and minus 0. 0.5. The unconstrained uh, state and unconstrained control will give these responses. So system is uh, stabilizing at uh, zero. So we are taking a lot of control but uh, still the uh, since it is unconstrained the system is stabilized now in case of constrained it, the control is taking a lot of lot of time to control but still uh, system is able to we are able to stabilize the system on the other hand when we start at the initial point 0 0.8 and minus 0 0.8 the unconstrained state is always uh, uh, we will be able to stabilize the unconstrained case. So the, we will take a lot of control effort and stabilize the system. On the other hand, when uh, the control is constrained, the system goes unstable. So this example is uh, used to say that the initial condition also matters in a constrained case. In the If the initial condition is 0.5 and minus 0.5, in both unconstrained and constrained case, the system was, uh, we were able to stabilize the system. But when the initial point was 0.8 and minus 0.8, we were not able to stabilize the constrained case. Of course, the unconstrained case, we can take a lot of control effort and then stabilize the system. But in constrained case, we are uh, limiting our control effort. So this, uh, we may not be able to stabilize the system if we start at this initial point. So this brings out the effect of constraints and the initial points on our system. Now we will go through the stability analysis concept uh, that is followed in model prediction control. The stability can be analyzed by considering the cost function as a Lyapunov function. So jk is the cost function in the case instant. So we are considering this as the Lyapunov function. So if there exists a continuously differentiable scalar function such that the cost function is a positive definite and cost at the next instant minus cost at the present instant is less than or, uh, or equal to zero. So that shows that the cost is reducing. So this uh, is so we can ensure that for exceptionally small x, x is equal to zero is a stable equilibrium point. And the assumption that we are taking is the MPC optimization problem is always feasible. So we are uh, at the kth instant it is a feasible optimal pr problem, k plus first instant is a feasible optimal problem and so on. So a problem, an optimization problem is feasible means it has some solution at these instances. So now uh, what we are doing is we will uh, consider the optimal control sequence. We will solve the uh, optimization problem at the kth instant and we will find the optimal control sequence at the kth instant. So let this be the uh, representation of optimal control sequence at the kth instant. And u tilde k plus 1 is the candidate control sequence at k plus first instant. So we will construct the candidate using the optimal cost and optimal control sequence at the kth instant. So at the kth instant we have uh, already implemented this control. So we will uh, omit this and from here on we will take so to construct the candidate at k plus first instant from we will take from here on. So k plus one, k plus two and so on until k plus n. And the last one we will use as a state feedback element. So the last element is the state feedback element k into x star k plus n given k. Now the candidate cost at k plus first instant is constructed using this control C. So sigma i is equal to 1 to n. Uh, we will uh, finalize the state and the control. And we will consider a terminal cost. This terminal cost will account of the cost from nth instant to infinity. So we will uh, remove this terminal cost and add here infinity. So that is nothing but the cost. This both are equivalent. So this terminal cost is nothing but it will take into account n to infinity. So we are removing that and uh, we are including infinity here. So these two steps are written in the next slide as well. And to include, we, are, we had start from i is equal to 1 to infinity. To include at the 0th instant also, we will uh, add and subtract the cost in the 0th instant. So i is equal to 0 to infinity. Here we have added the 0th cost also. Here we have subtracted the 0th cost also. So it is same, same as the previous equation. So this is nothing but the uh, 
cost the kth instant because we had constructed k plus first cost using the optimal values at uh, k instant k instant. now what we are doing is uh, we will replace it as j star k and uh, this is the term that we have subtracted kth cost and the optimal optimal cost at the kth instant is k plus first instant is nothing but is will always be less than the candidate cost at k plus first instant so we will replace this term here so now we have reached like the optimal value at k plus first instant is less than or equal to optimal value at the kth instant minus the initial uh, cost so uh, this is nothing but the cost this shows that the cost is reducing so cost at k plus first instant minus cost at uh, kth instant is a negative value so the cost is uh, reducing so as time progresses eventually it will settle down at a uh, settle down to zero so that is how the stability is proved in mpc so now we are considering a term called a terminal constraint terminal constraint is nothing but we are uh, considering the uh, cost at the k plus first instant and this is an additional term which, ne which needs to be satisfied the requirement of an extra constraint in the optimization problem which uh, ensures that the last term satisfies the constraint that is nothing but the terminal constraint so that this term is within a set omega which should satisfy the constraint and it should be invariant in uh, mode 2 it is equivalent to uh, dual mode mpc so we are ensuring that it is within a set and within that set only state feedback is required to stabilize the system so that is the need of a terminal constraint in the optimization problem the requirement is that all these things will be all these terms will be satisfying the constraint we need to ensure that the last term also satisfies the constraint so we are adding an additional terminal constraint in the optimization problem so we will go to region of attraction the set of all initial conditions from which it is possible to derive the state predictions so the omega is a set which is near the equilibrium point uh, within which we use only state feedback to stabilize the system so uh, a region of attraction is the larger set which consists of all the initial points which will take the uh, uh, states to this omega so uh, after n uh, steps it will be within this omega so region of attraction is the uh, set of all initial conditions from which is from which it is possible to derive the de drive the state predictions into omega so about the robustness we will see in the next lecture